Hey guys, I'm Dan Merle and welcome back to Ask a Dev. Today's question comes from Raul who asks, what functions are needed to make a geofencing marketing app? It's a great question. Location-based marketing is such a natural fit for a mobile society that it's really easy to come up with all kinds of ways to use it. In fact, the hardest challenge is dancing that fine line between providing consumers with value or being spamming. Now I'm going to talk about iOS, but these concepts apply to Android too. So let's assume that you've got a great new product that you think music fans will absolutely love. The question is, how are you going to tell them about it? Events like Austin's own South by Southwest are ripe for geofencing marketing because of its high concentration of people. First, you could pick a popular venue like the Moody Theater, where Austin City Limits is filmed, and once-in-a-lifetime concerts take place practically every night during South by. Since the Moody Theater is a fixed building, the Core Location API makes it incredibly easy to set up a geofence centered around the lat-long coordinate. With Core Location Manager, you can set up a circular region around the Moody Theater with the radius of your choosing. But what if you want to attract music fans on the move? Core Location Manager also allows you to set up a beacon region, which has an amazing reach because one region can be replicated on an unlimited number of beacons. So let's say you struck a deal to place one in every Uber car during South by Southwest. A beacon region lets you define one to three bits of metadata, a required unique identifier, and an optional major and minor value. iOS will let you register up to 20 geofences per app, but you only need two, one for the Moody Theater and one for all those Uber cars. After we define the regions, we tell Core Location Manager to start monitoring for each one. And if we want a quick assessment of where we are, we can request the state for each region, and Core Location Manager will tell us if we're in or out. And then we wait. Now, if the user crosses a region boundary, your app will be notified about that event. Geofence events can wake up a backgrounded app or even launch your app if it isn't running. And when you're no longer using them, simply stop monitoring for those regions. But what if your users don't have your app? That's where Passbook comes in. You can generate Passbook passes, which are simple JSON files that you can email or even embed in a poster using a barcode or a URL. And you can include all the same geo coordinate and beacon information, and Passbook will activate your pass when the device crosses into a region. You can even use that to offer a download link to your app. The key to marketing is grabbing your customer's attention and since most people's faces are buried in their phones 24-7, geofencing can be a much better solution than buying a billboard or littering the city with flyers. That's it for this episode. Tweet your questions with hashtag AskAdev or leave them in the comments.